And it's been two weeks since an American warship sailed near an island in the South China Sea, part of China's uh, marine territory. And that incident earned condemnation from Beijing. Freedom of navigation in that region is a major discussion point for the Southeast Asians in the region at this week's U.S. ASEAN leaders meeting. Three years ago, U.S. President Barack Obama and Chinese President Xi Jinping met at this California resort, aiming to improve relations. This year, Obama will use the venue to rally China's Southeast Asian neighbors to counter its influence in the South China Sea. How big is the concern in the region? The concern is, is very, very big because uh, South China Sea is, is a very hot spot. A hot spot because China and its neighbors have competing territorial claims over these islands, which are still unresolved. Nevertheless, China has built at least three airstrips on reefs in two of the region's island chains. China is resolutely committed to safeguarding the peace and stability of the South China Sea and will continue to manage disagreements through dialogue. China wants those dialogues to happen bilaterally, but the four counterclaimants in ASEAN, a group of Southeast Asian nations, have pushed a collective approach to ensure ships can freely travel these waters. So far, it has failed. Maybe it's not the best place to talk about that issue, but ASEAN is, I think, the only available a platform. The White House wants ASEAN to support free navigation in the South China Sea, and it's pumping more than $150 million into the region to help counter claimants strengthen their naval military power. Beijing has not inhibited any ship's passage to date, but the stakes are high. An estimated $5 trillion in trade travels through these waters every year. If the South China Sea is restricted in terms of commercial or military movements, the first people who are going to suffer are going to be the Southeast Asian coastal states themselves. The U.S. has pledged to send military aircraft and warships to the region in freedom of navigation patrols, the most recent just two weeks ago near an island claimed by China. I think these operations are not inherently provocative. What they should be is, is seen as routine and low-key. But Beijing sees the patrols as a clear violation of its sovereignty and says countries outside the region should, quote, stop meddling. China has the right to protect its sovereign territory and its legitimate maritime rights.